What's up guys, CP Modder here back with another video and today we're back at it again with another ultimate showdown taking a look at the differences between 5400 RPM, 7200 RPM, SATA and NVMe drives and yes we all know what the outcome is going to be, 5400 being the slowest, NVMe being the fastest, but a lot of people do ask me, well, what's the comparison like? And I went ahead and looked for myself and sure there are plenty of graphs out there, but it's really cool just to see a simple graph to see, well, what's the slowest compared to the highest performing, what kind of percentages you might see in differences to help you pick your next drive. And, uh, well, that's pretty much it. It's going to be a really quick video today. So let's take a look at the drives that we're actually going to be comparing. And for our 5400 RPM drive, we have ourselves a WD Blue drive, which is pretty much a standard vanilla drive. Gets the job done. It's nothing too special. Uh, then moving up, we have our 7200 RPM drive, which in this case is a WD Black drive, which is forming up our more high performance one. This is also too going to be a one terabyte drive, kind of hard to track down a one terabyte drive for today's standards, but one terabyte WD, WD Blue, one terabyte WD Black, and then for our SSD representing the SATA side, we went with the Crucial MX500, which is a pretty fan favorite around there. It's also too in the one terabyte category. This is a really nice SSD. And also to, once again, get the job done without blowing us away. And then for the high-end NVMe drive, we grabbed ourselves a one terabyte Samsung 970 Evo Pro Plus, or Evo Plus rather. The highest performing NVMe drive you can buy on the market. Sure, there's a little bit more cost-effective ones, but let's face it, no one's going to say no to a 970 Pro Plus SSD. Again, all of these guys are coming in at that one terabyte marker, or at least very, very close to it, to kind of keep the comparisons clear and also too fair because we all do know that when it comes to SSDs, the high capacity, the higher speed and higher performance we actually get out of it for the actual drive themselves. So a 120 gigabyte SSD will not perform as good as a 240 gig or 480 or 512 or even one terabyte SSD, even though they might be on the same family and technically speaking of the same specification. So one terabyte across the board to keep things simple, all on the same system, which is our X99 rig, which is a little bit long in the tooth, but nevertheless still gets the job done. And, uh, well, let's just get straight into the real world testing with some game load times and boom. As we can see right here, pretty much what we'd expect with the NVMe drive being the fastest. The biggest unsurprising differences here is the difference between SATA and also two NVMe drives. Because when it comes to these types of speeds, games don't exactly take advantage of that as there's other factors to loading up a game that also to take time. So, um, they're not too much of a surprise right here. Though that being said, if we just strictly take the Samsung drive and the 5400 RPM WD drive, kind of makes it look like a little bit of a joke, absolutely destroying it. But where things do get really interesting is actually looking at the synthetic numbers. And man, is there a massive difference between getting that poor little 5400 RPM drive and that behemoth of an M. NVMe drive, which is really hilarious to look at. Moving on to our price per megabyte per second, this graph is really interesting, showing us that even though the 970 Evo Plus is the most expensive, it actually gets the best here, offering us 7.84 megabytes per second per dollar spent. Now, in this particular graph, the higher the number, the better it actually is. So, with our WD Blue coming in at the cheapest option next up at just $30 versus the $320, Surprise, surprise, the really expensive drive also offers blistering fast speeds, again, blowing everything out of the water. And I guess if we jump back to the real world for just a moment, important things like Windows boot times are also too massively different across the board, with our 5400 RPM drive taking quite a bit of time to boot up, whereas our NVMe drive boots up before the screen can even turn on. So I guess then, conclusion-wise, well, basically it writes itself. If you were ever looking for decent storage, then a hard drive is going to obviously be your best friend. Whereas maximum speed, obviously an NVMe drive right here. Guys, that being said, let me know down in that description box, what boot drive do you run? Are you still on the old school hard drive bandwagon or are you up there with some NVMe drives? Let me know down below. If you want to pick up these drives, I've also do left them down in that description box. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you all in the next one.